Aaron, how much of a luxury is it to have a hitter the caliber of Labor Torres on the bench in that situation to use late in the game? Yeah, it was big. You know, I told him before, you know, hey, maybe a big spot late, be ready. So um, he, he was waiting over there. He'd done, done all his work, ready to go. And, you know, once they brought, you know, Scott into that spot, felt like it was his, his spot and he goes up there and, and put a great at bat and, and obviously wins us the game. Understanding he's a good hitter, but just how difficult is that for somebody that's not used to coming in in those situations? Um, yeah, I mean, it can be it, it can be obviously a little bit challenging and a, a tougher situation, tougher role there that you're not used to. Um, but I feel like Glaber, since he's come back, has been been in a pretty good place in the box, you know, with his swing decisions. I feel like he's he's controlling the zone really well. Um, he's he's under control and calm, and and with that, we we've started to see the results start to follow. And what did you think of Hap today? I thought he was good. I, I thought more of the same. Um, I thought he made some big pitches too when he had to. You know, the the uh, strike him out, throw him out to end the inning, where I thought he threw a really good change up to get out of that. You know, with a contact hitter. I mean, that's a big pitch, and I felt like he made a lot of big pitches today, uh, in in different spots. Uh, more of the same, though, using everything, using his two seam, using his change up. Maybe his, I thought his change up was probably, you know, as good as it's been. Um, you know, using the slider, using the four seamer, continuing to use that kind of four pitch mix in there and um, another strong performance. Mm -hmm. Bob Clappish, go ahead and unmute. Aaron, we talked about this uh, a little bit before the game, but can you talk about the overall optimism you must have right now, uh, considering you're coming off a sweep now and you've got some bodies coming back to the lineup very soon, and just where you are overall? Yeah, um, look, this was a big win for us today to finish off, you know, a really good series, a really good start to this homestand into the off day. Um, you know, especially some big at bats late where we didn't have big offensive days to to pull it out but the pitching continues to kind of carry us there through this stretch and knowing we're getting probably a couple more guys back on Tuesday to start the series um yeah that's definitely exciting and and hopefully we can continue to 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 play well thank you Christy Acker go ahead Hey, Aaron, uh, just checking. Luizica threw his bullpen. Did he come through that okay? He did. He threw well. He's good to go, so he should be ready to go Tuesday. And Aaron Judge did stuff on the field. Is he going to head to Scranton? He'll go or? to Scranton tomorrow, yep. And is there any update on Paxton? I know you shut him down for a few days. Yeah, he hasn't thrown wouldn't... yet. He's doing better, um, but still hasn't thrown. Thank you. Mm -hmm. George King, you have the next question. Aaron, he's not as uh, high profile as some of your other relievers, but what can you say about Holder and the job he's done last month? Yeah, he's been huge for us. Um, you know, obviously coming in in a big spot to get a big out there with Stewart, who's a tough, you know, Stewart's really kind of turned into a tough hitter um, with, with power and patience. And, um, you know, obviously that's a big spot in the game there to come in and really just execute, you know, get ahead with that first pitch breaking ball and then climb the ladder with him a little bit. But yeah, John's been, John's gotten a lot of big outs for us so far this year and, and he's he's in a good spot with us moving forward. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Take another from Max Goodman. Hey Aaron, I'm, I'm sure you had your superstitions when you were a player and maybe since then as well, but since Glaber Torres put the, the glasses on, you guys are 5-0, and oh, and he's hitting almost 500. Do you believe in that kind of stuff, or is it maybe just his vision getting better with those on? You know, it does seem like we noticed that last year, and then when he put them on this year, when, when, when he does wear those, it does seem like, I don't know if it's true, but it, even before this last several games, it has seemed in the past like he's done really well with them. So the first day he had them on again in Buffalo, I know guys on the bench were yelling, leave those on. So uh, I guess I hope he leaves them on. Thanks. Ken Davidoff, please unmute. Hey Aaron, how much better are you feeling about Hap's body of work for this short season compared to what, what he went through last year? It, it's exciting what we're seeing from him. Um, he's, you know, He's dealt with, you know, a lot of adversity here. 
early on, you know, like everyone has in 2020, but even more so for him, the first couple of starts not going well and, and having long layoffs between some starts, but he strung together um, a number of nice starts in a row and feel really good about the way he's throwing the ball and feel like maybe throwing the ball. And he's had a lot of really good outings with us since he's got here in, in 18. Um, but I feel like right now he's throwing the ball about as well as we've seen.